This is the video demonstration of how to create a workflow using a web service output. In a typical Galaxy history, we can extract the workflow directly from the history. However, with the web service workflow, with the web services, there's there's a separate web service workflow tool, which is not the web service tool that we used in the initial um, exercise. So to access that, we're going to go to our workflow menu, create a new workflow, call that workflow get temp diff or something unique uh, that we're going to access later. Create, and here we'll notice uh, our new workflow. We're going to want to select edit to get into the workflow editor, and from here we select select web service workflow tool and then the uh, first workflow you'll you'll see most likely see is the get weather web service uh, which we used in exercise one um, a variation of it at least and for this exercise we're going to duplicate every uh, every operation that we add to the workflow we're going to do it twice and uh, that's because we're grabbing temperature data from two sources, from Chicago and from Miami. So on the right-hand side, you'll notice um, I, sel I selected the drop-down saying user will enter parameter value, and I entered Chicago for the city name, and for the country name, I entered United States. And then for the second box, which is uh, the second uh, web service call, we're going to enter Miami for the city and United States for the country. And just by uh, hitting enter after your text input, um, your input is saved into the operation. So that's all we're going to need from the web service tool menu. Now we're going to need to manipulate that data because as we know from our first exercise, we get a lot of extra information in this uh, web service output. Um, and all we really are interested in is the temperature data. So to get rid of all the extra information, the wind data, the humidity data, we're going to need to begin some text manipulation. Uh, the first thing we do is add a remove beginning operation to the workflow. We do that twice, and in both cases, we'll want to set that to the remove the first seven lines. As we remember from our first exercise, the seven lines holds uh, all the information prior to the temperature line. So once we remove the seven lines, we're left with the top line being the line that holds the temperature data. There are several other lines following the temperature data line uh, which we are going to effectively remove in the next step by adding select first. Oh, and you'll notice that we have linked each of the previous operations to the operations that preceded them. And that's because this is a workflow and each operation expects some input that, that comes from creating this link. So we create that link um, from, from each of these steps. So, so far there's no um, there's no relationship between the two um, the two flows here, the one that calls Miami and the one that calls uh, temperature data for Chicago. We won't create that um, until uh, at a later step. But here we selected the first line and make sure you changed it to one. And then <clears throat> we're left with only the first line which holds all the temperature data in which we're going to target just the numeric input in that line and not all the other string data. So we know from our previous exercise that that numeric data for the temperature starts on character at character 16 of that line and ends on character 20. So we add 16 to the top field and 20 to the second field and we link both operations together to the previous operation and what we should be left with is two data sets that hold the just the numeric information for the temperature for the two cities that we selected. And here's where we're going to create the, we're going to sort of join the two data sets together by, with a paste. And we'll use the paste operation, taking the input from the previous operation and, and the previous two operations and putting it into one data set basically. And you'll notice that I added the, the bottom flow to the top paste and the top flow to the bottom paste and that was basically just to get our cities in the same columns that we had in our first exercise. So we're left with we're left with the data set that has the 
information from the previous two data sets that we had a compute linking it to our previous output and changing the expression to C1 minus C2 which is column 1 minus column 2. We'll save it, close it, and we'll notice we have 10 steps in our workflow now. We want to run our workflow. We'll see a step-by-step -step breakdown of all the operations in our workflow. We want to send results to a new workflow history, a new history, I'm sorry, called get tempted, and then run that workflow. This could take up to a minute and a half, two minutes maybe to go through each step. I've trimmed out that dead space in the video, so we don't have to watch that. Now we see a successful run indicated by the green box. We'll select get temp diff, the link get temp temp, which will take us to the history created by the workflow. And we'll notice this is all green, meaning each step ran successfully. We can start interrogating each step and see where, what our data was doing along the way inside of this workflow. So if we expand the first call to the web service, we'll notice we got, we got all this data from all this weather data from Chicago, and then we got all this weather data from Miami. Uh, a little bit too much information for our web service, so we begin to add, start manipulating the text, and so we remove the first seven lines, and you'll notice the first line here is left with just the temperature line, yeah, followed by all the remaining lines, which we get rid of here by just selecting the first line, which happens to be the temperature line. And then trimming all the excess string information out of that line just left with the numeric data which we then take and make a new data set a new unique data set that we can compute on and subtract the second column from the first column leaving us with a third column which represents the difference in the temperature here we can select the disk icon open it up in our favorite text editor and notice that we do indeed have an output with temperature from Miami, the temperature from Chicago, and the difference in the two represented in the third column. And that concludes our exercise. Thank you.